Hello everybody, welcome to Minecraft Land Party. How are you doing today? I'm doing alright. Um, this is Theron, and we are going to go visit the, uh, the, the, the Aqua Base. Because there's been some changes there, and that's really disturbing. Let's get out of that view. There we go. And, here we go. So, this all is pretty much the same, um, Hey buddy, I have a shivering dog on my lap. There was a loud noise outside. Uh, I'm trying to comfort them. I added this over here. So I think what I'm going to do with the uh, the Yosha Monument here, I think I may actually clear out the water around it because I I don't get particularly good uh, uh, network speeds now with uh, with these guys swimming around. It's a little annoying, and you can hear them zapping. Zapping all the uh, squid and whatnot So I think I may clear out the walls on the inside and sort of rebuild a new base inside here and uh, We've got big long hallways here that I can turn into storage areas and Then I can you know, I've got the the railway that leads uh, all the way over here to the uh, to the Guardian farm Hi, dude um, Yeah so I don't know. Uh, I don't want the guardians there anymore. That's, uh, that's the basic problem. And uh, but I built this here. A little walkway down, a little spiral walkway. You can see out into the ocean. Not super exciting, unfortunately. Um, I should probably put some lights out there. That might actually make things better. Um, it might make the view better. So. And uh, let me come down here. And show you what I've got. I've got my new mining area. Hang on a second. Let me adjust my microphone. Okay, hopefully that's better. So I'm doing, uh, you know branch mining pretty much the same way I was over there only like, there's no one for thousands of blocks around because uh, we are about 3,000 blocks away from spawn here so I can do all the mining I want and I was able to get the, the iron I needed to complete the guardian farm this way I ran into this little uh, cave system over here I'm gonna need to sort of dig my way through um, this water here I think goes all the way up to the ocean all the way up to the surface so um, it's uh, interesting obstacles doing this explicitly under an ocean uh, let's say I run into lava and all the usual stuff but I've gotten a good amount of uh, diamond and uh, for not having done too many shafts here I've got a fair amount of diamond and iron and gold and other resources so this is working out pretty well and I will also extend this out this way I decided to put a little storage area down here. Um, building the chests up like this, I didn't want to do trap chests, so I have little columns between. Uh, the cool thing is the the lantern blocks, the sea lanterns, are transparent blocks. So you can place them directly over the chest and they still open. Which is, uh, which is kind of exciting. Uh, so it fixes the lighting issue and gives you a block... I don't have to put empty space up there. It's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so you can see my my pings are pretty terrible here, and it's pretty much because of the the guardians. So anyway, um, I'm not going to be doing a caving here or digging on screen. Um, come on, there we go. But I just wanted to show you that. Um, one thing, another thing I wanted to show you was. I came up with a fix for the um, for the issues I was having with the item collection in the sugarcane farm. Uh, not that I need to go in and and uh, do that, but uh, because it works pretty well. There's some loss if you remember in the water stream that I had. The items could fall on the slabs that I was using to separate. The, prevent the water sources from traveling backwards uh, from flowing backwards um, so 
the items would uh, would eject onto the slabs and they would they would just sit there and eventually despawn hello there we go that's better thank you whoa okay uh, so I came up with a solution for that so let me uh, give me a sec I'm gonna I'm gonna head back to the house to the base and to my main base and uh, and uh, um, and I'll, I'll switch over and show you where I did it in my creative world so hang on a sec I'll be right back with you all right welcome back you remember this I'm sure the uh, cutaway sugarcane farm that I built in my creative world to test it out um, and uh, showed you here um, it's next to a couple things I keep building stuff here this is the prototype um, of this is kind of the proof of concept of the guardian farm and uh, over here I have something I'll show you uh, a little later another video uh, and then proof of concept of the rail car with the um, with the half slabs to show that it wouldn't suffocate in it okay so here sugarcane farm it's been running you notice there's no sugar cane sitting anywhere so here's what I did it's pretty simple um, I dug down an extra layer and I put the half slabs down as you as I did before but then it's easier to see from over here but then uh, so I dug down one extra so I lowered this ice path put the the water on it as before but then I put above it I thought to myself well why couldn't I have water push items off the half slab all I needed to do is prevent it from flowing backwards so I put a sign on the side there so items come in the sugar cane comes in and if it, it comes into exactly the half slab it gets pushed off that makes it work really well and because the uh, because the, the slime blocks push everything with such force I think this actually is going to be a pretty low loss sugarcane farm because if you look there's not many items sitting on the on the growing areas as either hey Bowser what are you trying to do I'm trying to lay oh you want to rest your head up there okay sorry um he's being very cute so yeah uh i think this solves the problems oh you want it down now okay there you go you want to sit down go ahead sit down hey buddy okay here you go why don't you sit sit there you go good boy oh there we go look at that and it all flows away um, I had met I had talked about the item collection system I worked out most of the kinks I I've been doing that work here uh, this okay this guy sitting here flew off of one of these here um, obviously with a wall here it's not going to do that so this one doesn't count uh, so yeah all the all the items they hit the baffle here flows down to the water and goes down you notice there's not there's not really any sugar cane sitting on the uh, the grow area here which is pretty exciting it means it's a pretty highly efficient it's gonna be a very highly efficient farm okay so item elevator I kind of worked out the way this is gonna work here uh, for the Guardian farm and this is what I'm talking about with the left turn here um, this I think I showed you this before uh, I have the items going underneath here and they right now are hooking I have them turning in this case the right hand turn sorry um, I have a somewhat freaked out dog here. 
No, 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 no. Don't do that, dude. Stay here. Sit. Sorry, sorry about this. Um, hey, buddy. Maybe he'll stay there. Uh, when, when, uh, when our boy dog Bowser gets uh, freaked out, he, he likes climbing up on things and behind things. So I've got uh, stuff here in the office that he wants to climb up on and get behind to hide. But uh, it's okay, buddy. You don't need to do that. No, 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 no. Okay. So the item flow here. Notice how when the items come down and they hit this wall and they, they, they flow out this way, they're all along the left side here. That's really key to making these things work correctly. Because they have the items have to slide in between the uh, the fence post and the the glass block here so that they go into this thing on the side. And then they come up here. And I have found that it's kind of important that the... Uh, It helps quite a bit to have the items have the top block that the items flow through being the ice that you're going to slide them along up here so uh, that that seems to fix all of the issues I was having I would occasionally have um, items if notice how the this block under this fence post is ice and the one under here is not that's important because if they come into this block on ice they come in too quickly I think what it is they will some of them will pop out this side um, if you don't do the turn some of them will go up the elevator but not all so the turn helps align them along here you'll see some people put on just next to it you either put like ender chest or or a cake which you can do but if you do that then you have to put uh, something like cobblestone fence along here otherwise the items get caught when they hit a block and the the uh, the ender chest and cake are, are largely there to get them to align kind of on the border between the two blocks here uh, so that you can run it along a row of hoppers for the sorting system um, so if you do this sorry I thought I saw a creeper out of the corner of my eye not that matters we're in uh, creative mode here so uh, so the items come along like that and occasionally one will get caught but they'll it sort of it ends up working itself out if everything's aligned and I was having problems with the items coming up and getting sort of caught up along the edge of this block right here but by putting the ice here so that the water's flowing quickly seems to solve that so I think I think I have all the kinks worked out and I have these flowing into this chest here so it's picking them up I cleared it out um, when I was testing earlier so um, but I can throw some some stuff in here and uh, I tested it pretty thoroughly no matter where I threw it it seemed to uh, pretty much uh, it all gets through the system when I have it all set up like this so I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with it and I think this is gonna work out quite nicely for us um, as a whole mess of stuff just got stuck there, make a liar out of me. Oh, that's really annoying. Hmm. Okay. Well, some of it came through, shot out and missed the hoppers. Uh, but that's... That's interesting. Okay, well obviously I have to do some more testing, but the testing I did before, everything seemed to work okay. Um, see, there it's coming up through and it flows out over. And I'm just doing this, I'm not gonna use this in the guardian farm but I just think it's funny to see them flying through the air and land on the hoppers and uh, see the hopper distribution but there I threw out 64 and I got 64 back oops so so that seems to be working quite nicely and see this is all made out of glass it doesn't have to be but you can 
it's kind of fun when you see them flowing through so so anyway that's uh oh here's come some more nice so i have to this is how i'm going to build it basically um i'm going to use the blue glass that's why i built this out of blue glass just to make sure that the glass color didn't matter um and uh so i'm going to do this at the guardian farm i just have to figure out placement and, and start laying it out um i will not be doing evil can evil stunts with them it's not uh not part of the plan there well i guess it could be fun um yeah so anyway so this is how i fix this i'm, I'm very proud of this I, I don't know if this is i don't know if i'm being clear enough about this but it's pretty cool so I may go back it's gonna be a lot of work but I may go back and actually build this into the sugarcane farm on the server uh, just because you know then I'll have the comfort that stuff isn't sitting on these slabs and despawning but I have the farm turned off because I don't need any more sugarcane uh, I already have that double chest full uh, filled up and I could run more but uh, don't really need it so i don't know if i need to anyway um i think that's going to be it thank you for watching just notice there's a there's a village over there on my super flat creative world i never uh have never explored this village should go check it out it's obviously loaded when i'm playing on that part of uh the thing so Wow, I got lots of guys. Yeah. Nice. Oh, a blacksmith. Let's see what's in here. Oh. Hey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. There's a church over there. Oh, this is kind of cool. This is a good sized village. <laughs> Couple of churches. Okay. That's uh that's enough of that. All right, um, I think that's a shortish episode. So uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. All right, bye.